now, back to Tony and Casey's Best of Food and Wine on Smooth and Easy. See you 650. Come along if you feel like a room without a roof. Welcome back to the best of food and wine. It's the final segment, Casey. Are you good? Yeah, Get the energy good. up here. Let's go. We Excellent. only have 12 minutes to go, and then it's off to next year. Uh, joining us now is the man who runs the whole show here, Harry Hertzig. Uh Harry, congratulations. The Italians have, I think, over-delivered. They've uh, r renewed us. They've enlivened us. They've energized us. They've, they've had a great week. Was that song called Happy? Yeah. I mean, yeah. happy. I've never seen so many happy, happy people. Spirited. In I mean, a tasting room. Italy brings such passion in such simple terms because they, they just do it so well for yeah. generations. And, and they're so hospitable. They're so in the moment. I think sometimes we over plan things and think of what's dinner for tomorrow night yes. or what are we doing next week? What should I buy? What? When you're with the Italians here, it's like time stands still. Yes, you're right. Look, look at them in the eye. Yeah, no, I, it's been a great week. And, and they've done, you know, I, I, we had such a great example today. We had the, the Legends tasting, and it was kind of like all the big guys, Barolo, uh, Tuscany, Amarone, sort of, they've been holding the stage. But while they've been doing that, it's been filled in by this sort of chorus of Verdicchio and, and Prosecco and, you know, just this whole amazing wide range of, of products which, I don't know, I, I love the diversity. We've been doing this since 1979. I don't think I've ever seen such a diversity yeah. of grapes as we've seen. Yes. Yeah. Not just in Italy, but we have wines from Croatia and Greece and sparkling yeah. wine from New Mexico, and it's incredible. Yeah, it's been a great show and uh, very well behaved in my view. Yes, I've had that makes me happy. Yeah, I know. I have had Very nothing well but impressive compliments from people saying, wow, this audience, they're so knowledgeable. They just, you know, they ask so many questions, blah, blah, blah. But I can just tell by the tone in the room, too, the, by the sound in the room. It's kind of a respectful but energy, you know what I mean? They're talking about wine. They're talking about their lives, their friendships, um, just the diversity of ages, yeah. cultures. Harry, we don't have a lot of time because I know you have to run off. You've got a big <laughs> announcement coming up in about seven minutes. Uh, but because our listeners talk wine and food all year uh, around, we're happy that you could come and maybe share the announcement with us before it goes live around the room. Uh, and we're talking about next year and what's going to happen at the wine festival. Well, first of all, we're going to throw a big party. Yeah. Great. Because next year is our country's 150th birthday. Yeah. And uh, we're going to invite the whole wine world. Uh, we have connections with wineries uh, around the world. We're going to invite everyone to join this party to uh, celebrate our maturing wine culture, our growing wine market. But we're going to put a spotlight on the wineries from British Columbia, Ontario, Nova Scotia, vineyards from Cowichan, Similkameen, Okanagan Valleys, Niagara Peninsula, Prince Edward County, Annapolis Valley, and, and, and new great frontiers yeah. because we are going to put the spotlight on the wines of, of Canada. Canada. Right on. Yay. We love that. Wow. That's going to be big. This is the first time. <laughs> I, I don't want to be on that selection committee. 1997 we did. We celebrated VQA. Yeah. Do you remember that? Was it that long ago? That's right. We oh did my God. do that. Nin 20 years. Wow. And we're well, going to do this, this gonna again. We're going to do it again. Yeah. And everyone's invited. And uh, while well, I'm just finishing uh, uh, Conrad Black's book, which has been impossible to read on the history of Canada, but at 150 years, I think it's appropriate. Yeah. We've come a long way. It's been a good week, Harry. Uh, 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 any final thoughts about the festival and uh, our uh, West Coast lifestyle, the food scene in Vancouver? I've heard the principals from Italy commenting yeah. all the time how exciting our food scene is yeah it's just so good to feel how healthy uh wine culture is yeah it's right great. now i mean you know there's all those changes that you write about and talk about yep but we're going to take a moment and just 
enjoy. Have a toast yeah. yes. with our glasses yes. to uh, wine yeah. that's in the glass and uh, yeah. a good life. Congratulations, Harry. Uh, it's been 38 years. The festival's still rolling along strong, and, and uh, the culture is strong. Uh, we need to stay strong. We have to keep moving forward. Never take it for granted. Got to work hard every day. Yeah. Uh, I know you have to run off, but thanks so much. And taste well. Yeah, and taste well. Good luck with your ceremony. So a couple minutes away for the whole crowd. Grazie mille. Grazie mille. Uh, we still have an hour left, Casey. We can get it out there and run around and taste some wine. But taste some wines. You've yes. Been yeah. You've been working hard. Well, we've been tasting a lot of wines, but it would be fun to get out and uh, go to a few booths and check it out. Thanks, Harry. Thank you. Good luck with next year. We'll talk to you soon about uh, all the big plans. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> Not too soon, but no, soon. We'll not give, too we'll soon. We'll give you a couple of months. <laughs> Let's sleep next week. <laughs> but just a week. That's Harry Hertzig, uh, he chairs the Vancouver International Wine Festival. Uh, he's pretty much responsible for everything you see on this floor tonight. Thanks a lot, Harry. Uh, great to catch up with you. Go get some sleep. Uh, Arthur, we're almost out of it. Uh, not out of it, out of time. No, we're both out of it and out of time. Yeah, so you have a winner for us uh, that's going to win the big prize. Congratulations goes out to Coquitlam native Helga Ovington. You are going to the Painted Boat Resort and Spa. Wow, fantastic. And on sun the Sunshine Coast. With a couple's massage. With the couple's massage. I hope she has a friend. Or you could be her friend. Or you can, <laughs> yes, right. Well, you why, can volunteer. Now why would you guys say that? Why well, not? Yeah. Uh, You're up there all the time. Helga Ovington of Coquitlam, congratulations. Great to see you. That's it. Uh, that was, what was that, Art? 47 interviews or? So 12 hours of yeah. content. First of all, I want to thank Dwayne back in the studio. Absolutely. He's been working tirelessly at all hours for us. I don't think he's slept yet. To Art and Erica here on the, the stage, thanks so much for making us sound good. Uh, to Stu Ferguson for making it all happen and for the Make oranges. It look good. The oranges, the the juice and the potato chips and the and health bars. And dinner uh, the other night. Too. Yeah, and maybe tonight. No? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, folks, thanks so much for listening. I know it's been a lot of wine this week, but, you know, it's who we are at the Best of Food and Wine some days. We've had a great time at the 38th annual Vancouver International Wine Festival. We'll probably be back uh, next year. Same time, Harry, more or less, last week of Feb. One week earlier. One week earlier. Get this, it's February 11 to 19. We're going to kick it off with the BC Long Weekend, and we're going to end it with the Ontario Long Weekend. Oh, oh what wow. a great idea. No excuses that people can't come out. That's yeah. right. Oh, boy, that's For a great a idea. Week. Okay, folks, thanks. We'll see you uh, back at our regular time next Thursday night, 6 o'clock, drive home in Vancouver on the Best of Food and Wine. I'm Tony Gismondi. And I'm Casey Wilson reminding you, cheap wine will always be too expensive. That's it for today's show. Tune in next Thursday night at 6 for Tony and Casey's Best of Food and Wine on Smooth and Easy, CL 650. Executive producer is Casey Wilson.